Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of our tiny home bathroom makeover. If you saw part one, which was last week's video, I built this little DIY storage hamper to go over our laundry hamper in the bathroom where we put all of our dirty towels, hand towels, all of that. And it was another place that we could set something to put hand towels on whenever guests come over. We didn't have a rack that we hung hand towels on. We didn't really have room for it in here. So this little table is the perfect addition and has provided a lot of storage and organization for us already. I set my phone down there all the time and it's proven to be very useful. One place in this bathroom that has not been very organized or useful are these cabinets behind me. I'm kind of like shoved in a corner of the bathroom. This is the mirror that's above the sink and then we have just a wall right here so my arms can't even fully extend whenever I try to touch both walls so it's a very tight corner and it's a very small space. As you can see the inside is extremely, well not extremely, it's organized so to speak but it's not like, I know where everything is and I have it like in groups. Sometimes it's hard to find things, but it's not organized at all, and this cabinet's kind of weird because it's very deep, and it's also really tall, so you can't, it's like very hard to organize it, and since we do live in a tiny home, I actually went to Target the other day, and I was looking for some of those kind of like shelf risers that you could put inside your cabinet and like it creates basically like double the amount of space because you can put stuff on top of it, put stuff below it. Our tiny home is obviously tiny and the cabinet dimensions that are in our bathroom are a lot smaller than like normal cabinet dimensions for other homes. So I could not find even like organizers or shelf risers that would actually fit inside of these cabinets. They were all too big. So in today's video for part two, I figured we would just work on organizing this entire section of cabinets. It actually goes pretty much all the way up to the ceiling, so they're really tall. And then also this cabinet just has like towels in it and then all my extra makeup products and bins. We might organize it. There's not really much that needs to happen in here, but I mainly just wanted to organize this cabinet that is just crammed full of stuff. And it's also kind of dark inside those cabinets because it is a dark pink color. And it's in a corner of the bathroom that doesn't really get much light. And so we might have to find like some LED strips to put in there or something because it is really hard to see once you get like to the back of the shelf. In terms of organization for these cabinets, I did want to build a couple shelf risers just out of scrap wood. I had a lot of wood left over from part one, which was last week's video. I overestimated by a lot how much wood I would need. I just wanted extra just in case I messed up or I didn't have to run back to the hardware store. So I do have a lot of extra wood that we can play around with and build a couple risers out of wood. This is like extremely easy. You just need wood and then a screwdriver or an impact and then something to cut the wood. So you could even use a hand saw or if you have a miter saw, this is a very beginner friendly project. If you have some spaces in your home, you could use this in the kitchen and the bedroom. I mean, these could be used anywhere. I think a few months ago, the Sorry Girls, Rachel from the Sorry Girls, she did a video for her kitchen organization and she built these wood risers in her kitchen. And so they're very versatile and you can use them pretty much anywhere. You can customize them to fit whatever space you need to put them in. I guess we can go ahead and start at the very, very top. You can see the cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling. This is where I have teeth whitening strips. That's a teeth whitening device. And then I have travel products up there in that clear bag. And I feel like this could be organized way better, but 
it is pretty tall like this is just me standing flat-footed and it's hard to like see all the way back there because it's so high up but that's why there's not much up there and then you go down and this is where I have my everyday makeup bag that I just pull out and I use to do my makeup every day and then we have these cotton swabs that I like to keep here because I use these specifically the purple ones to clean up my mascara and then behind this we have a bunch of hair tools and then a few fragrances so I have that's like a hair curling overnight type of thing and then we have some dry shampoo and just like hairsprays and stuff all the way in the back we will be decluttering through these cabinets as well because I never do my hair and there's a lot of hair products in there that I just do not need. This next shelf is like an everyday shelf for me. It has my hairbrush back here and then some makeup wipes. It has a lot of moisturizers. It has a couple face masks right here. And it has some body moisturizers there in the back. And then it has my deodorant. This is just filled with water. And then my perfume that I wear every day. So this is like an everyday cabinet for me. Um, I would like to organize this all organize it a lot better because I clearly don't use six different moisturizers every day and I rarely use the body moisturizers in the back so we could find another place to put those so that they're not in the everyday spot. Next shelf is also an everyday shelf for me. It has my medicines that I take every day and then this is where we have our toothbrush and toothpaste and then this is my husband's like facial razor. I don't really like the razor being next to the toothbrushes because I just, it's never happened, but I just don't want any little beard hairs to get on them. Um, then we just have extra toothbrushes and toothpaste back there, but I feel like this could probably be organized a little bit better. Like, I would like to combine my everyday products from this shelf and this shelf all on one so that they're all easy to see and easy to grab. I have to keep my medicines here because I'm very forgetful and if I do not see them right when I wake up, then I will not take them. This cabinet is specifically the cabinet that I wanted to put the shelf riser in because you can see there's just, well maybe, I don't know if you can see but if that's a better angle, there's just so much space above all the products that's not being used and everything is just so crammed in here. I mean it's just, it is just... A bunch of different products just all crammed in here and you can see all the way to the back but this needs to be organized a lot better we keep our medicines like antacids and then the shelf down here is all medicines we keep them in the bathroom because there's not really space in the kitchen so I'd like to organize those a lot better again this shelf is all just medicine but as you can see you can see the things at the front and then once you get behind like this first row of products, it's like a black hole back there because it's so dark and you can't see anything. So a little bit of strip lighting would probably come in handy um, for back there. It's kind of the same with this one. You can see all of the products at the front. I have some makeup brush cleaner, another huge face, ma face mask. Um, some nail clippers for our dog and then some ibuprofen but everything behind that you cannot really see and it's unorganized and then this last and bottom section is all hair tools like I said I never do my hair but I do like to keep a blow dryer in this roller brush on hand and then just a curling iron just in case I ever need it that bag has some nail polish in it but there's a lot of wasted space in there as well so the first thing that I need to do for this project is measure every single shelf that I want to put risers in and see what the height of the tallest product is in that shelf so I know where the shelf riser should, like what height it should be. And um, I'm going to do that for every single shelf that needs a riser and then we will start making the risers.
So here is all the scrap pieces that I had left over from the table project. Um, a lot of them are these like skinnier pieces and I have one thicker piece that we could probably use as the top for the risers. We will probably have to put several, like maybe two or three risers together to make up the entire depth of the drawer because it's 11 inches I believe and I only have wood that's a depth of, I believe this is 4 inches. Very windy today, but we'll need to use two pieces if I have more of this um, board that's 4 inches wide, we'll need to use two pieces, which that'll be 8 inches and then we'll still have three inches left over, but I'm just kind of working with all the scrap wood that I have. boards that I hadn't cut yet. Um, that's the same exact width of the boards that I just cut. I put the skinnier boards back because I can use those for another project and this will just make it way easier because it'll be the same exact width. <laughs> Did that scare you? That almost hit you guys. Almost. Anyways. It'll just be easier to make the riser since that board will be the same measurement as that one. done making all of the cuts that I would need to build these two risers and I do have like a super skinny cabinet so my dimensions will be different than yours but I didn't even use one full board of the board that I had. I'll link the board that I used below but I literally just used not even one whole board. I think last time I was at Home Depot it was only six dollars and something cents for the entire board so technically if you wanted to build like four of these wooden risers for your bathroom or your kitchen or bedroom whatever it, it could be around like 12 15 bucks depending on like of course how much you would you need for the risers like how long they are or how tall they are or whatever I also do think that I'm gonna have to build these risers inside the shelves so we'll go to the bathroom take everything out of the shelves and then we'll start assembling them in there um, since they're so skinny and you'll just see when we get in there it's like hard to fit the boards in there as is and it would just be so much easier for us to screw them in there I'm not staining these or doing anything to them because you'll never see them they're just for like me and Harley to see because they're gonna be shoved in a cabinet so let's go to the bathroom we'll clean everything out of the shelves and then I'll show you how we're going to put them together did realize about these this cabinetry I am so dumb there are like little holes on the inside of the cabinet I don't know if you're able to see but we can actually move these shelves up and down um, would have been nice to know that but I just I never paid attention and never looked at like the sides because I saw that the top didn't have any holes and so I just I just assumed that these shelves were like permanent for some reason. 
but it's fine. We already cut the wood, so we're going to continue with our original plan, but I just think that's so hilarious that this whole time, maybe you can see up there. Ah, yeah, you can. You see those holes? Yeah. This whole entire time, we could have just adjusted the shelves to our needs, but that's okay. We have to do a fun little DIY, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to try my best to not be in the shot, but this corner is so tiny. That one there. You see how we have to build it like inside the shelves because everything is such like a tight fit? Like now I can't lift this one up over this because it gets stuck. Good. Ta-da! Now obviously we have to screw the top down and everything, but that's what the little riser looks like. It goes all the way to each side. And it may look like we don't have a lot of room left on top. Maybe that's a better angle. There's plenty of room left on top. It's just so dark back there that you can't really see. But I feel like that would be a good spot to put my moisturizers at. <laughs> the next day and today we're going to start organizing and decluttering everything that was in this cabinet over here, this side cabinet. Um, I went ahead and built the shelf risers that you just saw. I decided to do only one riser instead of two per cabinet because whenever I put both of them together everything underneath it was just super dark. So I'm going to do one for now for each cabinet and then if I find that I need more storage or shelf space then I'll go ahead and build the other one because I already have the pieces cut. But we're going to go through right now and declutter everything so we can start organizing everything back inside the cabinet. This is everything that we need to organize back into the shelves. I have a few things on the floor. I'd like to get that humidifier down here where all of the hot tools are so it's not sitting on the ground anymore. I do have to pull all of that out or just organize it and then we have everything that is up here as well and everything that's on the ground. I probably don't need all of this stuff but I do have plenty more storage now that I built those little risers so we'll see what else we can fit back in there and I did move the shelf up two notches once I figured out you could actually move them up and down and I did the same for that one all the way up there. I just haven't put the shelf back in yet.
today's video. I know in the in shots it probably didn't look um, super organized, but I promise you it is a lot more organized now. We have like zones for everything and it'll just be way easier to grab things now, especially with those um, shelf risers that we built. But I'm happy with all the decluttering and organizing that we were able to do today. Let me know if you decide to build these risers for a space in your own home and next week's video will be wrapping up our tiny home bathroom makeover I guess you could say so stay tuned for next week's video and I'll see you in the next one bye guys